All right, there you guys. That looks like a little bit weird. Oh my God, do you guys see this oil? Like I swear, I'm literally like sweating. This is why sometimes we shouldn't listen to TikTok. Hi and most welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing super, super well. So welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna be doing another social media made me buy it, but this time we're gonna be doing TikTok. Not Instagram, but TikTok was the one that was all up in my face telling me I needed to buy this foundation. Literally anytime I would open the app, this foundation was everywhere. Like everyone was like, oh my God, you need to go to Target to buy this. Oh my God, you need to go to Walmart to buy this. Like, oh my gosh, this is the best foundation in the world. And I was like, girl, I need to get this ASAP. But it was sold out everywhere, you guys. Like this was like a struggle to get this foundation. But I was able to find it at my local Walgreens. How? I don't know how I was able to get my hands on it, but we got it, you guys. Here it is. Here is this baby. It is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Powder Foundation. All the people that I've been seeing apply this foundation have really smooth and like clear and beautiful, flawless skin, which is great. Love that for them. But for me, I kind of have a lot of breakouts right now, a lot of redness, texture, just. My skin ain't loving me at the moment, so I wanted to test this foundation out on skin that has breakouts at the moment, texture, all that stuff in case you guys also have skin like that at the moment and want to see if this foundation will work for you. I got you, we're testing it out, and yeah, it was a really fun video to film. These are always super fun, so definitely give this video a thumbs up, por favor, if you guys want me to do more social media, maybe buy it videos. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna be doing up close shots. We're gonna be wearing it throughout the day. I did do a mini review on this on TikTok already, but I wanted to do a full review for YouTube for you guys with like my HD camera and all that stuff and do a second round. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you guys are new to my channel. I post makeup reviews on here, social media tips, and every single Thursday we do a true crime video. So if any of those things interest you, definitely subscribe down below so you guys won't miss out on future videos. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. Let's just get on with the video. So before we get to the application part of the video, I just want to give you guys some information about this foundation. So if you guys want to skip over that and you guys want to get directly to the application part, I'll have the timestamp right here in case you guys don't want to hear about this foundation, you just want to see me apply it. This is a timestamp. I'll meet you over there in a few minutes. So this foundation retails for $14.99 and there are 16 shades available. And like I said, you guys can get this at like Walmart, Target, Ulta. L'Oreal's website, Amazon. I'm not sure if it's probably in stock. I have no idea. Like it was literally out of stock everywhere, you guys, because of this TikTok video. And it claims to also be waterproof, sweat proof. It's supposed to be transfer free. It's supposed to be great for people that have oily skin because this is a matte foundation. It's supposed to control your shine and it's supposed to be full coverage, natural, like weightless. Like it's supposed to be just something that you just literally wipe and you're good to go so i will put a tiktok clip here of how the girl was applying the foundation because she just made it seem like you just wipe and like your full coverage your glam and it's good to go so yeah let's get straight to applying you guys it does have a little pad at the bottom and it is used just because i already filmed a tiktok using this and here is what the powder looks like up close very soft, reminds me of like my old like middle school days where I would just like use a powder foundation, use a sponge and like call it a day. I'm just gonna mix these two primers together. Just like the mix of these two, you don't have to do this, you can just use one primer. But I really like the combination of the two. I feel like it's made my foundation look so freaking good lately. Okay, so now that we have our skin primed, we're ready to start applying. And as you can see, I don't really have full all this skin right now. I mean, I'm human, we... We don't got perfect skin so I do have some breakouts so this will be interesting to test out on like breakouts and textured skin and redness acne scars all that stuff because it does claim that it is full coverage so we just you know want to make sure that they're telling the truth and this is able to cover up all of my little situations here so so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this that is what it looks like once you have it fresh on. I'm just gonna do what the TikTok did, you guys. I'm gonna just slide this on my skin and see what happens. So let's do one side first. Let's start right here where we got this little pimple situation. Uy, Dios mio. It is also claims that it is cake free which I will definitely attest to that because I hate cakey foundations. You guys know me so well. If something is cakey, I literally like run away from it because I just hate the way that feels. Now I will say this foundation does feel so smooth. Like when I'm doing this, like it feels really good. And I'm like, oh, like that's me. That feels like it's just like gliding across my skin and it feels like really, really well. It doesn't look bad though. Like it, it doesn't look bad. 
Now the thing that scares me sometimes with powder foundations is that orange tint that it can give you sometimes. I'm not saying all powder foundations are like that, but from my experience, like back then, they used to have like a really, really big orange tint. So I was super careful trying to choose this foundation out. And like I said, I'm in the shade Ivory Buff. Let's just hope that that's the right one. It looks like it matches my neck pretty well. So I hope it doesn't like oxidize later and give me like an orange tint because that is definitely just not the vibe. What do we think? I can definitely tell a difference like just by this first little round I can totally see a difference like this side looks like more of the same color a little bit more even I feel like it looks matte it looks pretty soft like it looks like it just matches directly with my neck right like I'm not imagining that I think it looks it looks pretty good you guys so let me just keep applying this and the thing is I'm, I don't know if you're supposed to like put concealer on before I'm pretty sure probably before just because mixing a liquid concealer on top of a powder probably isn't the best idea so we're gonna have to put a little bit of this on to cover any dark circles that we have All right oh wow that applied actually really nicely to the forehead oh nice love that all right so i just finished applying the final touches what do you guys think you guys this half has the foundation on this half is no foundation. Can you guys see a difference? What do you guys think? I definitely see the difference, like just looking at myself in the viewfinder. So I apologize if I'm looking down. I'm just trying to look at myself. I can see a difference. Like look at the eyelid difference, first of all. Like this eyelid is all like red and like oily and like veiny. And this one just looks like very smooth, like one tone. It looks pretty good this side of my face, I'm not gonna lie. And I definitely think it did cover some of the blemishes. Obviously, I didn't think it was gonna cover everything fully just because it is a powder. So I feel like if this was a liquid version, it probably would have covered all this pretty nicely and I would have just maybe used a little bit of concealer to touch up. But either way, I, I think the powder did cover it really nicely. I just definitely think I would have to put on a little bit more here or maybe use like some type of liquid underneath first. But just with powder foundations or any type of powder, like the more layers you apply, the more possibility you have of looking cakey. So I do wanna be careful of that and not apply too much. Um, but yeah, this is just the first layer. I think it matches my neck pretty well. It does look pretty smooth. Now, this is like from far away with the camera, like not super close to me with like these lights, all that stuff. Up close when you look at it, you guys, I don't think it looks terrible like on the cheek area like it looks just like if I had set my face with powder just here it literally makes like me look like the kinkiest thing on this planet and I don't have um, a bigote right now like I got rid of my peach fuzz and my girl fuzz so it should look pretty smooth because sometimes when you do have like hair there it can look a little bit kinky but I just got rid of it so I'm like it should be looking pretty smooth so around the mouth area it looks pretty kinky and also on the nose Oh my god, on the eyebrow, it's like actually like frightening. I, sh I don't know what happened there. But on the forehead, it doesn't look terrible. So the cheek and the forehead looks good. Just the nose, the upper lip, and the eyebrow area looks a little bit weird. But I'll definitely show you guys up close so you guys can see. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm just going to dip back in. This is what it looks like up close in case you guys are wondering what the pad looks like. Glide it. Now I do like how it does get rid of like redness. Like look, let's just look at this area right here. Look at that. It does cover the redness like really well. Do you see that? I kind of live for that. I'm kind of switching between gliding motions and just like wiping motions, just depending on the area that I'm working on. For some of these little breakouts, I kind of just wanna do some padding motion. All right, so here is both sides fully covered, well, full coverage right now. Like, what do you guys think? Do I like it? Do we like the coverage? Do, do you think this matches? I think it matches really well, and on camera, it looks very smooth and beautiful. And in this mirror, it doesn't look terrible. Like, it doesn't actually look that bad. I definitely think there are just parts that are a little bit cakey, like I said, over, over the eyebrow, a little bit around my mouth area and around my nose. But for this part, I think it looks, like, pretty smooth. And, yeah, I don't, I don't think it looks terrible right now. I feel like I don't really need concealer because I feel like it really just made, like, my under eyes blend in together. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think it looks discolored there. Definitely correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I'm seeing, it doesn't look that bad. It covered up the veins on my eyes, the oiliness. I feel very mad right now, like very, very mad, but not in like a gross way. I just feel like 
there's no oil on my skin, which I love because sometimes I do get very oily. So it looks pretty good from right now. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what this looks like up close. This is like the first layer. This is the first moment we're applying it. And then I'll put on some setting spray and we'll go about our day and see how the foundation works throughout the day. All right. Hello. We are up close and personal. So let me give you guys a tour of my face. This is what I meant with like the eyebrows. I don't know if you guys can see how it like kind of got a little powdery right there. This is my forehead. Here's what my other eyebrow looks like. This is what I mean. Like it kind of gets like weird right there. So I think I would probably have to avoid my eyebrows next time or like, you know, do something because it gets a little bit weird there. But it did cover my eyelid nicely. Like it literally looks really pretty. It looks like ready for some eyeshadow. Here is what my cheek looks like. All right, here is what my other cheek looks like. As you can see, you can still see a little bit of just like my acne scars, a little bit of my blemishes. But like I said, if I applied more layers, I was worried it was going to make me look cakey. All right, there you guys. That looks like a little bit weird. And then my nose area. I just feel like it does look a little bit powdery. All right, Hermosas, I am back. I went ahead, finished off my makeup, put bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, the whole shebang. And this is how the foundation looks like now that everything is complete. And it honestly looks good. I was a little bit worried that applying it and like, you know, using brush stroke motions was gonna make the foundation remove a little bit, but I didn't really notice anything like that. I don't think it, it looks like worn off, nothing like that. So I think it looks like I have literally like a liquid foundation on with like concealer and set it with a nice powder. I think that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting off of this, like from the camera. Let me know if you guys agree. Like, doesn't it look like I just have like regular foundation on, not like a powder? But I'm gonna go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see what it looks like up close. And then I'm gonna go outside for natural lighting because sometimes, you know, when you're with studio lighting or with your bathroom lighting, like you can look like super good and like on fleek and then you go outside and your bronzer's like freaking horrible. Your foundation's orange and you're just like a hot mess. So Anyways, let me know what you guys think so far with the foundation, and I will see you guys in a few hours. And we're back you guys. It's been a few hours. I think I finished filming this around noon and it's currently 7 o'clock. So it's been like 7 hours that I've been wearing this foundation. You know, I was going to try to go for the 24 hours but I feel gross and I feel like I just want to take my makeup off. It's that time of the day. I need to go make my food and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I think this was a good amount of time that I wore it. 7 hours. I barely did any touch up. The only touch up I did was use blotting paper just to get rid of a little bit of oil that I had there because I felt like it was going to like give me like a pimple or something like all the oil accumulating there but I have not touched it up with any powder whatsoever in terms of oiliness and shininess like I think this powder did do a really good job of maintaining you know my skin to be oil free and very matte personally I think the foundation did a great job of doing that so from far away I think the foundation looks really good like right when I'm looking at myself in the monitor and I'm sure on screen it's gonna look very flawless and smooth and it just it looks good like it really really looks as if I'm wearing a liquid foundation with like concealer and then set it with a powder and once I look at it in person it doesn't look terrible you guys like I, I really don't think it looks terrible like I said there are just some moments of shininess like on my forehead but of course if I just took a little bit of powder or some more blotting paper cover that up like it would be perfect so I don't think it looks like cakey I was expecting it to look just like oh like a very cakey big mess just because it is a powder foundation and with these you know, sometimes it can get a little bit cakey, a little bit messy. The only parts that I just don't like where this powder looks like is around my mouth area, you guys. Like, I 
literally it looks so bad right here oh my god like i look like um I'm like a senora that like packs on makeup around her mouth like it looks <laughs> really bad on my upper lip and on my chin area and around here um because the thing with powder sometimes it can get a little bit like creasy and accumulate so like right there my little smile line it did accumulate a little bit more i think the first time that i tried it for my tiktok video i didn't really like it that much just because i mean i had a little bit more acne when i filmed that video i had a lot of more redness a lot of texture so i feel like if you have maybe like severe or mild to severe acne, I don't think this would be the best. But if you did apply like a little bit of concealer beforehand on your pimples or a little bit of foundation or like a tinted moisturizer beforehand and then you applied this powder foundation on top of it, I think it would look really good because honestly it didn't really move at all. Like I still it look feel like I have my things covered here. I feel like it still looks the same as it looked seven hours ago. But if you do just have breakouts and acne and you don't want to apply foundation beforehand, you just want to use this. I don't think it's really going to cover that much. And if you keep piling this on to cover your breakouts and all that stuff, you're definitely going to look cakey and very chalky and powdery, which is what happened to me the first time that I applied this foundation for my TikTok. It looked very chalky on me. But now that I kind of, you know, used it a little bit better and, you know, didn't really you know, cake it on to cover everything. It doesn't look that chalky. I would recommend this foundation if you have really, really good skin right now and you don't really have like anything you really want to cover up. I think this would be like your best friend because it looks good, you guys. Like it really, really does look good. Now keep in mind, this is a matte foundation. So if you have dry skin, oof, I do not think this foundation would look good on you whatsoever. I mean, I have pretty oily skin. So this works for me because it really kept me matte, it kept me, you know, looking a little bit powdered. Um, even I still have some oil like coming out of here. So I mean, you can test it out for yourself, see if you like it, but I just personally wouldn't try it. So yeah, my overall thoughts on this foundation is that I think it's good. I think if you are looking to try a drugstore foundation, you want to get into powder foundations, I would try it out. Would I wear this foundation every single day? I personally don't think so just because I'm not a big fan of super powdery feel like I really like to use liquid foundations and like concealers and lightly set it with some powder just because I like my skin to breathe a little bit more and sometimes I feel like when I have a lot of powder on my face and it's like very powdery I just feel weird like I my skin feels like claustrophobic I mean it doesn't make sense but like my skin just feels weird it likes to breathe so I don't think I would use this on an everyday basis but I definitely think if I was going like you know just to do a quick errand to do like a little mandalo you know going to the grocery store and I just wanted to like quickly even my skin out and just like do something quick I definitely think I would probably just use this like it's honestly so easy to just take it wipe it put some setting spray on and like your skin is even so I think this foundation is good for that for me personally but I could see how people would enjoy using this on an everyday basis you know for work for school whatever so I feel like this just proves that you should always give something a second try because the first time I did not like it the second time I'm kind of living for it yeah definitely let me know your thoughts down below you guys if you guys are going to try this foundation now if you already have tried it out or if you guys have any other products that you guys would want me to review definitely let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching today's video i really appreciate it if you guys are new to my channel definitely subscribe down below before you guys leave so you guys can join la familia i post makeup tutorials product reviews and every single thursday we do a true crime video so if any of those things seem interesting to you definitely subscribe down below and yeah like i said let me know any thoughts opinions or concerns about this foundation and any other products you guys would want me to review in the future and i will see you guys in my next video Bye, guys.